Is Warehouse H better than Warehouse K? Let's hope. Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we are reviewing Old Forester's 117 series, Warehouse H. Yeah, so put out there a nice little short. You all can go check it out. Uh, just so happened to be off the day that they released it. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Got to do a little tasting. They allowed you to buy two bottles. I texted you. Where were you at? Were you not? A, why weren't you available? It's, you know, I think I was preaching that week. No, nah, whatever. Work. <laughs> work, uh, work, 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 work. Uh, but Old Forester did a release there. They probably had about 200, about 200 people could buy two bottles each. And then they also did an <laughs> online release. So yeah. give Old Forester a lot of credit. They did a great job. Plus you were able to taste oh, it. Oh, I was at staff meeting when they, when they released staff it. Staff meeting. Yeah, staff meeting. <clears throat> so. Uh, because two people around me were online ordering while I was trying to online order and uh, did not get the online order. But the two people around me did legitimately the first time dave misses in a long time yeah, it is but anyways so got to find out a bunch of things about warehouse h i didn't realize this with brown foreman the warehouse h sits like really kind of weird i guess when it comes to the other rick houses yeah so it doesn't get hit with all like the same elements and stuff so the profile of it's gonna be a little different um but yeah so i tried asking like age and some other stuff couldn't really they they wouldn't share any of that stuff with like the barrels or whatnot. I just know it's all on the first floor. and It's all an industry secret. Yeah. An interesting note was told by somebody who works on Forrester. At one point in time, this was supposed to be 90 proof. And I don't know if it was by accident or by somebody upper who yep. made the decision. They decided to go with 90 proof. Huh? Which I think is always the right call. For yeah. The most part. Yeah. So anyways, just said it was 90 proof. I, I, I don't know why I'm still going off that. But we don't know the uh, the age of it. Like I said, Nashville standard like old yeah. Forester stuff and MSRP for these are fifty nine fifty. I think they went up ten bucks. Haven't they? Didn't they used to be like fifty bucks, fifty five? I feel like you were always <clears throat> somewhere right around one twenty something. Yeah. for two bottles. Yeah, so like whatever it ends up being. So I really mean? like. I really enjoy that nose on it, like. I think that nose is really welcoming. Like there's a there's a hit of <clears throat> like of a lemon kind of smell in there. So I poured out some samples for some friends. Uh huh. Probably about a week and a half ago, maybe going on two weeks. Yeah. So this bottle's been open up for a couple weeks now ish. I mean, I'm not complaining about that nose one bit. I mean, that is a that is a something. <laughs> that is a banana bread. With chocolate chips in it. Yeah. It smells good. Yeah. I, I mean, it. that's like a super moist banana bread with chocolate chips. I So far, no complaints uh, with the old 117. All right. Let's see. Let's see how she tastes. I'm going to be honest with you. I do not remember that much banana on this. Like, I do not remember that much Old Forester whenever I went and tasted it now. I will say, I've not tried it since I poured samples. And whenever I went and tried it at the distillery that day, I was taking allergy medication <clears> and oh, it just yeah. died, died. Yeah, it, just wrecked I remembered you. like a couple things, but I couldn't, couldn't go in to it. There's a smidge of caramel on there too. Mm. I mean, the fact that this is 90 proof, I don't mind actually. 98 proof. Yeah, ni I'm sorry, 98 proof. Um, I, I don't mind that at all. I think that's, I think any lower it would have been really, it, it probably would have been lacking in. This to me reminds me, <clears throat> this reminds me of almost like a Booker's product on the palate. Like there's some nuttiness and some peanut brittle on there. I did. I do taste the nuttiness in there for sure. And that is crazy. I will say <clears throat> the the finish to it has some good spice on the back end. It does. End. I was gonna. It's I was gonna say that too. A little bit of like a lemon, like zest, citrus, yeah. kind of on the on the back side yeah. of it. But man, that's crazy to me. The nuttiness that's on there. 
<laughs> it is really weird because that is definitely not something I, you come to expect in a 117 series. That's something I don't expect with an old Forsher product. Yeah. If I'm being honest with you. Like, I, I mean, uh, I tend to drink a lot of old Forrester. Mm. And mm. I've, I've been known to once or twice. Shameless plug. Uh, sponsor us, please. Um, Again, we'll pimp your products. <laughs> we already do. Always win. Yeah, we already do. Why, why, what am I why, even saying? Why, yeah, yeah, we, we already do that. We already do. Um, but yeah. I just, man, this... Uh, that's crazy to me. First off, the banana bread just like still pops on the nose. It's just yeah. so moist and bready and what is but it? But I dig that moist, mm, moist. Yeah. If my wife ever watched our videos, she would be like making a gag noise when you said moist because it's one of the words she is, hates. I mean that that is it's just how you describe that bread. Yeah. I will say on that second drink though, that palate is a little thin with a little bit more fruit on there and the nuttiness isn't quite as strong. I think the, the, the citrusy, lemony kind of, I think it is the overarching flavor, especially once it hits your palate and kind of get you get used to this that you're drinking. I think you're right. I think the nuttiness kind of dies down just, just a little bit. But I think overall, I think it has a citrus note to it that is kind of all the way through the all the way through the whole thing. So this I, is this is very different. It is very different. Uh, I feel like if we lined them all up, you would be able to tell this one pretty easily. Well, in the sense of like the one seventeens, like you because would of be how able to unique tell. it is. Yes. So. What's crazy to me is like the nose and the palate are two separate things. Like I, I don't like still going back to it like that. Just like that banana bread note is just there. And it's just so strong. Yeah. But that, but there's a lemon note in there as, to me that I do smell that. But on the palate though, I don't get anything banana. Yeah, that's true. Like I don't get banana yeah. bread. I don't yeah. get banana. Like, I, like the, or there's banana a hint taffy. of caramel in the palate. Like, yeah, there, there is a little bit. So of that. I, I can like those, those flavors can be like so closely married to one another. Yeah. But I, I think all in all, I, I enjoy this and I actually, I did get one. I didn't get it myself because I missed out, but one of my good dear friends, my boy Troy, ooh, what up Troy? Uh, he uh, bought two of them and said, I got an extra one. Here's one for you. And I was like, thank you so much, my friend. I'll say this, out of the 117 series, this is not my favorite. Um, it, I don't think it would place in like the top three. But I think for uniqueness of it, it is very different than all the other expressions. I think I would put this in my top three just really? because it is unique. Okay, no, that's fair. I think it. I think that's it's fair. unique enough from all the other ones that I. I don't know. I kind of. I kind of dig it. Like I. I really kind of dig it in a in a weird way. And I'd heard nothing great about it. Like before, this is my first drink yeah. of it, so this is the it's, first time I've had it. Same with mine. I. Well, I take it back. It's mine without being on allergy medication yeah. for. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I I do enjoy that quite a bit, and I, I, I think you know our our two top ones because we did a blind on That's it true. recently yeah. uh, to know the top ones. Uh, but I would put this above the other the other ones that we tried with it. I like it. It's definitely better than Warehouse K. Uh, yes, actually, I would agree. Not that we're not that Warehouse K is bad. So no, but it um, is better than. It. I would say if you are an old Forester fan, I like for me as like a uh, you know old Forester fan, I feel like I kind of have to have this because it's so unique. Yeah, it's so different on the profile and the nose, and I can appreciate that. I think this is definitely for everybody else. Maybe probably a try before you buy. Uh, and if you're in the Louisville area, this will probably be at almost every bar that you would want to get a. Yeah, I'd say most like, of them, for you, sure. They'll probably and the distillery off. will be... I personally think, yeah. this is just my theory, they're dropping a whole... I think all of the barrels on the first floor were made for this blend. Well, it's not... I think that's what they said during the tour. So I am speculating that they have a massive amount. So if you go on a tour at Old Forester, chances are you will be going home and being a proud owner of two bottles of 117 Warehouse H. As they say, random days, random times, but good luck to you. Yeah. All right. Well, till next time. We'll see you. See you.